Hi, I'm Shaheen Jackson Burgess. I'm a fourth year computer science student. As a child, I was really interested in video games. So um, I went around my local high school to find opportunities in how to like, develop video games. And I found a summer camp where we created uh, small video game projects and I learned C Sharp there. Um, after that, I did a summer program at Google called Computer Science Summer Institute. And there I learned a little bit about Python, uh, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. And since then, I've been interested in computer science. I started with CSE 8A with Christine Alvarado, and that was in fall 2012. Um, in that class, it was intro to Java, so I learned about a little bit about Java, so for loops, while loops, um, the basics, uh, and then a little bit of object-oriented programming. I think there's a lot more theory than I thought. Um, uh, before going into computer science, I didn't know much about algorithms or runtime analysis and things like that. Um, that's something that's really crucial to computer science and is important for industry that I didn't realize at the time. My biggest advice for incoming students is to form study groups. Um, I think finding people who you can challenge yourself with and fight through the major with is really important. Uh, CS is not an easy, easy major, so I think having a good um, support system throughout the course of your college career is really good. Um, I'm currently planning to go to Google full-time. Um, I'll be working on YouTube gaming. My number one recommendation is to start early. A lot of recruitment for CS majors starts in the fall, so you really have to begin like your preparation in the summer. If you're coming back to UCSD um, for like your second year or third year, you should spend most of your summer preparing for your for interviews by like looking at cracking the code interview or things like leak code. Um, and then also just make sure you try. Um, you can try to get involved in things like tutoring, um, clubs like the Virtual Reality Club, uh, the Video Game Development Club. These things look good on your resume, and then you can have something great to show to a recruiter and also the people who you interview with. Um, my favorite class at UCSD is CSC30. Um, it's definitely the first class where you actually start to learn about computer science as a whole. Um, in previous classes prior to CSC30, you just learn about programming languages, but in CSC30, you actually learn about what's happening inside the computer, which is really cool. Um, I like classes that take mysteries and kind of solve them. Um, so CSC30 is definitely one of those classes where like you have this mysterious thing called the computer and you learn all about it. My favorite thing about the CS department is the tutoring program that it has. It's definitely a great way to connect with the other students and the faculty at UCSD. It's probably the biggest way where I've made like the most friends and a lot of the people that I've met during tutoring are like the people I expect to hang out with for the rest of my life as I move forward into uh, my full-time job. Another thing I like are the professors and lecturers in the computer science department. A lot of them really care about less about their research and more about making sure that the students learn everything they need to learn before they uh, leave the classroom. I was lucky enough to intern at Facebook where I got to work on the Instagram iOS app. During that time I had a project known as caption editing where users, they made a typo in their caption, they could edit it, also edit their location and their tags on the photos. Um, one class that helped me with that a lot was CSE 110, which is the software engineering class. Uh, during 110, you learn a lot of uh, jargon for basically software development, things like Scrum, Waterfall, Agile, Agile, and those things really helped me because at the time you think that it's like pointless and not useful, but eventually once you go to industry, you, you notice that all these terms are used widely, and uh, it's really important that you understand these terms so that you kind of fit in with what every, everything that's going on in the industry.